Well, hello again, everybody. It's me. In today's topic, I'm going to show you how we can generate some random numbers in Python. Then at the end of this video, as an exercise, we're going to create a number guessing program. Let's begin. We will be importing the random module type import random. The random module gives us access to a lot of useful methods involving random numbers. For a comprehensive list, you can use the help function, pass in the random module, and then we would want to print this. Here's what we all have access to. We have a shuffle method, set state, seed, sample, random range, random, random int, random bytes, and there's a ton of others, but we'll discuss a few of the more useful methods for beginners. For a random whole integer, maybe you're rolling a six-sided dice. You would type the name of the random module, dot, then a method. For a random whole integer, type rand int, add a set of parentheses. Within the set of parentheses, you will list a range. If I'm rolling a six-sided dice, I would like the numbers one through six, one comma six. Then I will assign what is returned to maybe a variable. Print whatever my number is. My random number is a four, three, one, four, all right, I tend to play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. We use polyhedral dice that have more or less than six sides. There is a 20 sided dice. For a random number between one and 20, I would set the range to be one comma 20. Here I rolled a 16 and a seven and an eight. Within the rand int method, you can place variables as well, as long as they contain numbers. I will create a variable named low. I'll set that equal to one and a variable named high. I will set that to be 100. I will replace the numbers with my variables that behave as numbers. Give me a random integer between my low variable and high variable. So between one and 100 in this example, I have rolled a 75. Now an 88. If you need a random floating point number, you can use the random method, random dot random. Then let's assign this to a variable number equals the random method of the random module. That would return a random floating point number between zero and one. You can pick a random choice from a sequence. In the future, we're going to create a game of rock, paper, scissors. Let's say we have a tuple of options. Options equals rock, paper, scissors. We are accessing the random module, dot, then use the choice method. Place your sequence within the choice method. Give me a random choice from options. I will store this within a variable. Let's say option equals random choice from my options. Then I will print the option. Our computer has generated scissors, paper, rock. So the choice method is a great use for games, if you ever need a random element. Now there's also shuffle. This time maybe we have a deck of cards. Cards equals, I guess I'll use a list this time. I have a list of cards that you would normally find within a deck of playing cards. Well, besides the suit. 2 through 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. Using the shuffle method, I can shuffle this sequence. Access the random module, dot, shuffle, pass in your sequence. In my case, it's cards. Then I will print cards. Yeah, look at that. My cards are now shuffled. In the future, we'll be creating a game of blackjack. The shuffle method will be used then to shuffle our deck of cards. Those are a few methods found within the random module. For some practice, let's create a number guessing game as an exercise. A user has to guess a number between a certain range. Maybe between 1 and 100. I'll set low to be 1, high to be 100. Guesses set to 0. Then we will generate a random number. Number equals random dot rand int. 
the range is between our variables low and high. We'll create a while loop, while true. While the user guesses the wrong number, we'll have to continue the while loop. We only escape when they get the right number, but we'll give them a hint. So guess equals input, I'll use an F string, enter a number between low through high. I'm going to surround this with a set of parentheses. Then I'm going to typecast our input as an integer. After making one guess, I will increment our guesses variable by one. Guesses plus equals one. Now, if our guess is less than our number, let's print using an F string. Guess is too low. Else if guess is greater than our number, we will print. I'm just going to copy this. Guess is too high. Then else. If our guess is not lower than the number and our guess is not higher than the number, well, then our guess must equal the number. That means we got the number right. Then I will print. Guess is correct. Then we will break. So when we escape the while loop, let's print the number of guesses it took to get the right number. I'll use an F string. This round took you our guesses variable then the word guesses. That should complete our program. Let's try it. Enter a number between one and 100. I'll guess something right in the middle, 50. 50 is too high. Okay, so our number is between one and 50. I'll guess something in the middle of that range, maybe 25. 25 is still too high. 12. 12 is too high. Six? Six is too low. Okay, we know our number is between six and 12. Nine? Nine is correct. This round took you five guesses. Well, okay then, everybody. That is how to work with random numbers in Python. And hopefully you gained a little bit of experience working with random numbers with this number guessing game. We'll be utilizing random numbers for a lot of games in the future. And well, yeah, that's how to work with random numbers in Python.